Hello everyone, welcome to the Bible story for this week. My name is Sarah and I will be reading today. Are you sitting comfortably? I'll begin. The story is about a huge boat, lots of rain, lots of animals and a man called Noah. Have you guessed which story it is? Bang, bang, bang went the hammer. Noah was building a boat, an enormous boat, big enough for all his family, big enough to save two of every kind of animal and bird when the great flood came. God was very sad about his world. It was all spoiled now. The people were so nasty and unkind, all except Noah. Noah was nice. Noah was good. And Noah was friends with God. I have to get rid of all this nastiness, God said to Noah one day. The beautiful world I made is all spoiled. There's going to be a great flood, enough water to take everything away that is bad. But you will be safe. Then God told Noah to build a boat. It was called the Ark. Noah did as God said. He always did as God said. Bang, bang, bang went the hammer, and at last the ark was finished. The animals were so excited. Quack, quack, said the ducks. Moo, moo, said the cows. Hurry, hurry, said the geese. Cheep, cheep, chirped the sparrows. Don't leave us behind. All aboard, said Noah, and God shut the door of the ark behind them. There's all the animals going in two by two. Mr and Mrs Noah are at the door. Oh dear, look at all the rain. A whole week went by, then the rain began. Pitter-patter, splish-splash, on and on, till the ark was afloat. Till the streams filled up and the rivers ran over, more and more rain till the tops of the mountains were covered, till there was nothing at all to see except water. The ark was alone in the world. At long, long last, the rain stopped. Slowly, slowly, the water went down. Now Noah could see the tops of the mountains and the ark came gently to rest. Noah opened a window and out flew the raven. There was water everywhere and nowhere to land, so the raven kept on flying. Noah waited a bit, then he sent out the dove. She flew back with a new green leaf in her beak and everyone cheered. Slowly, slowly the water went down. Noah sent the dove out once more. This time she did not come back. The water had gone and the land was nearly dry. You can come out now, God called to Noah. It's quite safe. And don't worry, there will never be another flood like this. I promise. Look, I've painted a rainbow in the sky. As a sign, I will never forget. Then Noah and his family and all the birds and the animals came out of the ark. They sniffed the good smell of the damp earth. They felt the firm ground under their feet. And they skipped and hopped and jumped for joy. Thank you. Oh, thank you, God, they said, for keeping us all safe. Look how happy they all are. And the beautiful rainbow in the sky. And all the animals coming out of the ark onto dry land. This story reminds of us how God wants all of us to be kind to each other. Can you draw an ark? Maybe some animals or even a colourful rainbow. Have a go, you might be surprised. Thank you for listening everyone. Goodbye.